Autopipe has many ways to review results, so let's take a quick look at an overview. Interactively in the modeling area, results can be reviewed by the user. Code stresses, displacements, restrain reactions, mode shapes, and more can all be reviewed on screen. Autopipe also has a result grid option to review results, which is a supplement to the interactive review because it's in sync with the piping model. So if you select a row in this grid, the program will also automatically select that point, support, or component in the model so that you know what area of the piping model you're reviewing in the grid. There are also filtering and sorting options in the grid, which allows the user to focus on specific or critical groups of information. As for reporting options, Autopipe has a report manager that uses a SQLite database. From this, the user can review all input and output results in three different formats. Here is an example of the ASC2 text report of the code compliance data. This shows the same data in a Word report, nicely formatted in a table. Both the text and Word reports have filtering options to limit data as needed. The Word reports are based on templates, which can be customized to fit your deliverable needs. And lastly, Excel reports can also be created from the report manager. These include a lot of data and factors that can also be filtered and customized. Additionally, charts and pivot tables can be added to the Excel reports to help quantify the data.